Hello everyone, a little bit of a different video here today. I thought I would do a small review on the La Hacienda pizza oven. Now the oven is multi-fuel, which means you can use wood, softwood, hardwood, or you can use coal, charcoal, briquettes. It really depends what you're cooking and what flavour you're looking for. Now it's took a while, and many different tests, to get the pizza to where I want it. Now you will see there's many mixed reviews on this oven. A lot of people say the pizza doesn't cook correctly, they can't get the pizza how they want to cook. And this is true on many different factors. How hot the oven is, are you using the pizza stone, are you using a pizza pan. Many different factors, many different outcomes. So with a lot of trial and error, I was finding one of two things. Either one, the pizza stone would become too hot, which would mean the bottom of the pizza would cook too quickly before the top is cooked, or melted if it's just cheese. Or two, the oven would not be hot enough, the pizza would not cook correctly, and you would be left with a waste of ingredients and an inedible pizza. So what I thought about was if the pizza plate was raised, which means it would be attracting less heat, would it work? Would it cook the pizza better? Would the pizza not burn? So to test this, I took a pizza tray that would use in your home oven, flipped it upside down, laid it on the grills, so this would attract a lot of the heat first, that would be before it would reach the plate. Used a couple of sockets from an old socket set and glued them to the tray. Now obviously this was just a test, the glue was going to melt with heat, which is what happened in the end. But by raising it just a couple of inches, you will see that it made a huge difference to how the pizza cooked. So what I also did this time was use some charcoal and some softwood combined instead of just the wood and a fire lighter. Let this give this about 10 to 15 minutes to reach around 2 250 degrees. While the oven was getting the temperature, I made the pizza. Just a simple cheese pizza with pizza sauce in a proper pizza pan, as I do feel like no matter what, it's not going to cook correctly on the pizza plate just because the oven is going to be either too hot or too cold. Now I didn't test this once I lifted up the pizza plate but I just thought I would go with the pizza pan as this always seems to give a better result. Both pizzas came out perfectly in my opinion. The bottom was cooked evenly, the top was just melted, not burned, no burnt edges. It was perfectly cooked. Both pizzas were cooked for approximately 10 to 14 minutes. The plain cheese was 14 minutes as the oven had slightly started to lose a little bit of heat by this time. But I think the pizza pan is the way, I think it's the way by raising the plate. I just don't think you're going to get an evenly cooked pizza, cooking directly in the plate. You're not going to get a Neapolitan style pizza. It's just going to burn. It's going to be too hot, it's going to burn, or it's going to be too cold, it's not going to cook. Whereas the pizza pan seems an evenly cooked pizza all around. Now when I first started cooking the pizza pan, the plate was actually holding so much heat that the pizza was still getting too crispy on the bottom inside the pan. So this is why I decided to raise the plate and see how it would cook with raised, less heat, but in the pan. In my opinion, it works perfect. As you can see by the pictures, the pizza came out great. So I hope this video helped for anybody who's looking at buying the Hacienda or any other similar multi fuel pizza oven. I do think the pizza pan is the way, but that is obviously our preference. So thanks for watching, leave a like if it was helpful for you, and catch you next time.